the joy of the Lord is a strength. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. To God be all the honor. To God be all the durations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Only God can do what no man can do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God richly bless every single one of you. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. I give you all the glory. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love, for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for a time like this and hour like this. Lord, we appreciate you. Spirit of the living God, have your way this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Prove yourself in our midst and our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you're wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. One thing I know for sure, devil, the power of hell is not permitted to be here today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The heavenlies, whatever is going on the heavenlies right now, they actually cease down this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is around your vicinity right now, I come against them by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. No power is permitted to move. No power is permitted to fly. No power is permitted to gather this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Only God can do what no man can do. Hallelujah. And I know for sure that today in my life, in your life, Jehovah is going to do what no man can do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God be all the glory, great things he has done. If you notice uh, earlier this, uh, uh, this evening, I actually sent another little bit of a, a um, reminder. Hallelujah. And we thank God for that reminder. And I believe a lot sorry. So a lot that are not sleeping right now. We bless God for your life. And for those who are sleeping right now, I ask the power of the Holy Spirit to wake them up this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the power of the Holy Ghost to wake them up this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Nobody can drag me down. Hallelujah. And I know that goes to you as well. Nobody can drag me down for my light has come. Hallelujah. Nobody can drag me down. It's powerful enough. No one is powerful enough to drag me down, to drag you down. Hallelujah. For your light has come tonight and God is going to move in a different way tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe God is going to answer every prayer, all our prayers tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know God is going to honor every single one of us today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You respect whatever you are going through. Jehovah is going to honor you tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody can drag me down. Hallelujah. For my light has come. Hallelujah. Tonight, tonight must come with determination. Hallelujah. I want to talk to everyone that is hearing me right now. It is not a joke. That's just a fact. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit ministered his words to me, that was on Wednesday. Hallelujah. Immediately I finished that Wednesday. It just came into my spirit immediately. Uh, uh, tonight must come with uh, determination. It's very important. The passion and zeal you have for yourself. It's very important. The determination, the passion, and the zeal you have for yourself. Hallelujah. Do you know why? Because I know that everyone are going through different things or one thing or the other. And I know God is going to honor every single one of us tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know why? Because the gates of hell and the power of darkness we stop at nothing. Hear me well. I want to repeat again. The gates of hell and the power of darkness, we stop at nothing when it comes to resisting the children of God. Hallelujah. These are the things, the more or less they, they actually they are good doing. Hallelujah. So tonight you must come with determination, with a zeal and a passion that God must answer you tonight. Hallelujah. God must intervene in your situation tonight. God must honor you tonight. Hallelujah. This night is for you and I. And like I said earlier on, no power is permitted to fly around your vicinity, around your area. No power is permitted to hold a meeting. Hallelujah. Because this very particular time belongs to the living God. Hallelujah. And I know God in his, in his infinite mercy is here the glory of the Lord. I welcome to every home right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask the power of the Lord right now to visit each and every home right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because tonight you've entered with determination with a full assurance that 
you are going to testify even immediately after this very program in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why you must come with determination, hallelujah, is the gate of hell and the powers of darkness will not stop. Hallelujah. They will not stop. The reason why they will not stop because they, 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 they know that they, they want to resist the children of the Lord. Hallelujah. But I know today by the power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, no power is permitted enough, no power is strong enough or strong enough to actually put a stop to you in or your movement or your growth in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord will be plotting against you to see that your efforts are paralyzed. Hallelujah. Hear me very well to everyone that is hearing me right now. Your effort towards your moving forward, your effort in pray, in your prayer, your effort in fasting and prayer is going to manifest today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power of darkness try as much as possible to plot against every of our efforts to see that they paralyze them. Hallelujah. Even if your efforts are paralyzed this very hour, I know the glory of the Lord, the power of the Lord is going to strengthen you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Cause the strong, the, the stronger belief, this power of, the, of darkness strongly believe something that you are already dragged down and helpless already. And the worst is nobody can drag me down. But the strongly believe that you and I are already dragged down already and we are helpless. I want to tell the beast from the kingdom of hell. No, no, no. We are not dragged down and we are not helpless because greater is he that is in us than he that is in them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for sure today we are going to engage in a very, very dangerous prayer points tonight. Very, very dangerous, uh, dangerous prayer point tonight. Against every oppressors of our lives. Hallelujah. They must come to know that we serve the living God. Everyone that is watching me right now, like I said earlier on, we're going to engage in a very dangerous prayer point this very night. Hallelujah. So every of your oppressors, every of the of man, woman that will not allow you to ever move forward, they will come to understand and know that Christ is in you, the hope of glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what are we talking about when we talk about an oppressor? We are talking about uh, someone who is sitting on, on our breakthrough. Someone who will never allow us to ever prosper. Hallelujah. Someone Someone, someone who will not allow us to enjoy our life the way we ought to. Hallelujah. Someone who has actually vowed from in their heart that you will never make progress in life. These are oppressors. And I want to tell you, yes, nobody can drag me down from where that light has come. And I want to tell you tonight by the special grace of God, if you are determined enough, you are going to see the glory of the Lord. If you are determined enough, you're going to see God, the power of God manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Someone who wants you, who wants to silence you permanently. Permanently. These are the powers of oppressors. Hallelujah. But tonight, hear me very well. I'm not taking much of your time. Probably an hour, 20 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes. And we just go. Hallelujah. But your breakthrough, hallelujah. God is going to honor you and I. But that depends on you if you're going to open your mouth. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough will come because you are. You will open your mouth and you're going to pray as well tonight. It's a night that I believe will, such a thing will not come up again. But I know everything about God. They are new every morning. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you those who are sitting or right now on your glory are going to stand up those who are sitting on your breakthrough are going to be are going to receive the fire of the lord tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ if only you believe i believe in my soul in my heart and soul and spirit that every power that will not allow me cross every power that will not allow me move every power that will not allow my family to ever move forward in life are going to be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ hear me very well a number of oppressors will want to silence you temporarily or if you like it they can silence you permanently hear me very well and i want to actually share with you certain scriptures i'm not going to scriptures today because i said we are going to pray hallelujah and in as much you are here and you are hearing me right now we are going to pray if you're feeling sleepy just get a cup of coffee right now and you drink honestly because you need to pray concerning your life you need to pray for your family in the name of the lord jesus christ jabez was actually silenced for his temporary period hallelujah Jabez was silenced for a very temporary period, but later on he realized himself. Hallelujah. If you're watching me right now and you are Jabez, I know the temporary period right now is, is coming to an end this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was silent because he, he, he actually refused to actually understand his life. Hallelujah. He actually he did not know how to go by concerning moving forward. But blessed be the Lord. Hallelujah. That I believe Holy Spirit Allah put that in his heart right now. So if you have been silent as, as a temporary, hallelujah, today Jehovah is coming into your life, into your situation right now so that you will understand who you really are. 
Hallelujah. Jabez, the moment he actually understood himself, the Bible says he prayed unto the Lord and God honored him. Hallelujah. But there are certain people who actually, who actually, actually, their, 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 their problems became a generational problem. It was so permanent in their life. Hallelujah. And I know certain people are like Jabez right now who are watching me and certain people are going to be like the ones I want to talk about that is, this is more or less an error. When you, when you know about Reuben, hallelujah, what Reuben did, hallelujah, Reuben actually silenced his generation, hallelujah, Tem permanently, hallelujah, he actually silenced his generation permanently. So if you are here right now, probably, probably you, you have silenced yourself permanently, God is going to review it and God is going to actually bring you back to your former glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because God is God in Genesis chapter 49, Genesis chapter 49, when you study verses 3 and 4, clearly stated there, the Bible says, Reuben, Reuben, you are my firstborn, hallelujah, my might and the beginning of my strength. You, your, uh, the, the excellence. He said the excellence of dignity and the excellence of power. Hear me well. The, the, the Bible, the, the Father told him that. But in verse four, the, the Father said, "Unstable as water." Hallelujah. You shall not excel because you went up to my father's bed. Hallelujah. To your father's bed, then you defiled it and he went up to my couch. Hallelujah. Hear me very well. Look at what Reuben did here. Hallelujah. Reuben actually silenced its own. Hallelujah. But he forgot about the children. Hallelujah. You are, there are certain people like Jabez that are watching me right now that I know that whatever you are going through right now are never permanent. They are just temporary. Hallelujah. And I know certain people that are watching me right now, even their situation, if it's permanent like Reuben, I know God is going to honor you. God is going to bring you back to your former glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why I said Reuben's zone was permanent. When you go back to First Chronicles chapter five, when you study verse one, that tells us about what actually happened in the life of Reuben's children. Hallelujah! The Bible says, "Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel." Hear me well. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. He was indeed the firstborn. You hear it? The Bible says, "Yeah, Reuben was indeed the firstborn." But because he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the sons of Israel, so that the genealogy. Hear me well. The genealogy is not listed according to Batrai. So his life, his life was actually taken away. Being the first, hallelujah, his journal, the record of him, the record of, of his children were more or less permanently silenced. Hallelujah. So there are certain people that are watching me right now. One thing I want to tell you, don't give up. Hallelujah. Reuben of your life is going to be released today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Reuben that has troubled you that you don't even know about, that started it, hallelujah, and you are being affected by this very situation right now, is going to release you. This God is going to release this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That was an error. Also, an error also came the third one. Hallelujah. There are certain parents in our parents whereby They've actually caused children and they, they thought it, the cause was just a, a, a cause. Hallelujah. But one thing about the devil, the devil is only standing. It goes to and fro. Hallelujah. So when the devil listens to such a cause by a parent, by a mother or a father, he, uh, he will actually sanction it. Hallelujah. He will just say, yeah, it is well. Hallelujah. It is settled and becomes something in one's life. Hallelujah. And here it is as well. Jacob and Rachel were also the same thing of this nature. But thank God for the father. The Bible said it right now in the book of Genesis chapter 35 when you study 17 to 18 in 17 now it came to Paris when he was when she was in labor in hard labor that the midwife said to her do not fear you will have the son also in 18 the last one and so it was as as so soul was departing she was about dying hallelujah that she called his name Benoni which means son of sorrow but thank God for the father hallelujah thank God for the father that actually counseled the cast that actually erased that very particular name immediately but his father called him Benjamin son of fortune hallelujah probably there are certain people that there are certain things around have them to us be it a parents might have cost us, our father, our mother, our friends, whoever might have cost us, hallelujah, there is going to be a reverse of that cause this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because honestly speaking, you are never to, going to be dragged down again like a, just a piece of meat, hallelujah. You are sons and daughters of the living God. You are going to experience the light and the glory of the Lord in your life this very morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I said, if peradventure your mother or your father or anyone might have actually 
place that calls on you. Hallelujah. Probably you are being dragged down. There is going to be a lifting in your life this morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to lift you up this very morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The setback cannot actually pull you down. Hallelujah. Your setback cannot pull you down this morning because honestly, God is coming in, into your house, into your homes right now in order to lift you up in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is ready to pull you up again. Hallelujah. I want to assure you if it's of the Reuben one, if it's of the of, of the Jabez one, if it's of the Jacob and Rachel one, God, oh God is ready to lift you up again in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But something and something, your deliverance is in your hand. Hallelujah. Your deliverance is in your hand. So if you've already accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you want to call on that very name Jesus Christ to deliver you, to set you free. God must intervene in your situation tonight. Hallelujah. Your situation can never be permanent. Hallelujah. It can never be permanent. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Probably you are going through a situation that are temporary right now. Go and mark it down. Jehovah is going to enter into your home, into your life, and God is going to sort you out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The time is now. The time is now when the children of the Lord will come to actually re be visited by God himself. And tonight, God is going to visit you in his power, in his might, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me very well. We're still going to go into prayer. But the moment, the moment you are being dragged down, there are certain things that will happen that you also will experience where you notice being dragged down. Hallelujah. There are certain things that you will experience. And a number of us are actually experiencing this. Hallelujah. When people see them, they are at times a number of people do not actually notice that they are being pulled down. They are being dragged down. But like I said, it and God will lift you up. But there are certain things you will experience. Hallelujah. You will notice concerning yourself if you are being dragged down. Number one, hallelujah, everything about lifting will cease. Hallelujah. Where you notice a drag down, drag down, everything about lifting will cease. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you something great is coming. Hallelujah. Challenges that are impossible to overcome will appear. Hallelujah. When people are bring, being dragged down, hallelujah, everything about their lifting will cease. Everything like by challenges in their life, the impossible things in their life become so real. Hallelujah. And to overcome will be very difficult. Hallelujah. They will continue to experience family problems at the age of breakthrough. People who are actually experiencing this, that shows that you are being dragged down. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, God is going to lift you up this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot will continue laboring and fasting in vain. Hallelujah. They will fast and pray. Everything will just be in vain because they have been dragged down, but they don't know what is actually going on with them. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, God has brought you, God has brought me right now. Hallelujah. To come to tell every single one of you that the light of God is coming upon your life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord that have been dragged down, hallelujah, a lot of them will lack what is called helper. Helpers don't locate those who are dragged down, hallelujah. But I want to tell you before the end of this very uh, 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 program, I know that the hel your helper will locate you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot that are being dragged down without even knowing, hallelujah, they experience demotion instead of promotion, hallelujah. A lot will all be, will be, be experiencing demotion instead of promotion and a lot that are being dragged down, hallelujah, cannot actually pinpoint that, that what they have achieved in life. Hallelujah. They've actually, they are grown up, they are adult, they are in hero, but they cannot actually pinpoint or lay hands of their, their achievements in life. Hallelujah. These are the signs of being dragged down. Hallelujah. If you cannot pick point or lay hands on your achievement in life and you are in a country more or less that flows with milk and honey and there's no achievement that shows that you are being dragged down. But I want to give you an assurance today, irrespective of if it's a temporary one, if it's a permanent one, Jehovah is going to release you today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ a lord that are being dragged down the heavens is likely to be shut down hallelujah against them their prayer life will not go hallelujah because at that very hour they are never to be recognized but i want to tell you by the reason of the anointing your prayer life will go and heaven will be open in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ even a lord that are being dragged down i want to actually tell you a lot will experience and they will know but in as much you're watching me right now and you 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 know that yeah you are being dragged down i want to tell you it's not a shame to be dragged down 
ground. Hallelujah. But it will be a shame to still be on ground. Hallelujah. But today, God wants to actually lift you up today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord have been dragged down, even promised land closed despite their hard work. Hallelujah. De despite their hard work, promised land always closed. Hallelujah. They will walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. It doesn't matter despite their hard work, despite whatever they have actually invested in that thing. Hallelujah. Promised land still closed down. Hallelujah. Today, I know something great is coming into your life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord have been dragged down. Hallelujah. They don't even have records of testimonies of victories. Hallelujah. When you don't have a record of testimony, when you don't have a record of victories, hallelujah, that shows that you are being dragged down. But I know there is a lifting today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord that have been dragged down. Hallelujah. No lasting wealth. Hallelujah. Or financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. From one, from one borrowing into another borrowing. Hallelujah. And money will not even stay with them. Hallelujah. Even for, for probably a couple of uh, uh, weeks. Hallelujah. These are people that are experiencing big drag down. And I know for sure that God wants to do wonderful things in our life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord that have been dragged down we by themselves or accept they, they will accept faith. Hallelujah. A Lord might have already accepted faith this very hour that, okay, this is my cross. No, you cannot carry such a cross. Hallelujah. What is the, why, why is it that Christ actually died for you and you are taking the cross that does not belong to you. He was actually nailed on that very cross that you are carrying right now. Said, this is my cross. No, no. Christ left the cross 2,000 years ago. The reason for his death is to redeem you, to bring you back. Hallelujah. So don't hold on to that. Don't actually recite and say and say to yourself, this is my faith. Hallelujah. You cannot actually sit and say faith, the, 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 what, what is called the faith I'm talking about is F-A-T-E. This is my faith. Hallelujah. The situation I'm in right now is what the plan of God for my life. No, God doesn't have such a plan for you. He said the plan and the, I think for you is of good and not of evil. Hallelujah. So any other plan is actually contrary. Hallelujah. So let me tell you, this is not your faith. Every man, every man that is hearing me right now, you have the right of your person to stand and to say no more in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you stand and say no more, then you see that the devil of your life will come to realize that, wow, your Jabez has now come. Hallelujah. The devil of your life will come to realize that yeah, your Benoni has now changed. Hallelujah. So that is what I want everybody to understand this night. Hallelujah. Your Jabez will wake up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your Jabez will wake up to think what belongs to him back. Your Benoni also will wake up right now this very hour as a son of fortune. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A number, a number of people that have been dragged down even find it difficult. Hallelujah. To reap what they've labored for. Hallelujah. They no longer reap it. They labor and labor and labor and labor, but they don't reap it. Hallelujah. These are the people that have been dragged down. Hallelujah. How many things have you ever invested your money in right now? And probably you've actually gotten a very a good response concerning it. Hallelujah. People, the devil that drags such people down will make them to labor and reap and labor and labor and labor. But to reap will be no. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you tonight by the special grace of God, every hand of the devil placed upon your life, I know they are coming off this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you know why? He came into my spirit right now and I want to say it as a, as a Yoruba man. Allah Bogboro is coming upon your life. The, the outstretched arms of the Lord is coming upon your life tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord that are being dragged down do not even know, they don't understand self again. Hallelujah. Because everything now is shut down. Hallelujah. Honestly, they do. when there is a pulling down, there's a lifting. Hallelujah. And there's going to be a lifting in your life today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is going to be a lifting in your life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Lord that are being dragged down. Hallelujah. They will not even experience, you know, at times in this very coronavirus, we have what is called two meter uh, social distance. Hallelujah. But a Lord are being dragged down. Hallelujah. We will not even experience two meter uh, 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 social distance. Hallelujah. Because the world already shut down. Hallelujah. So they no longer, they don't, they don't see two meter distance because the entire world around them shut down. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, God is going to do something great in our lives today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of all, some people that are being dragged down right now, memories of being helped will be erased in their life. Hallelujah. They no longer think about it again. Every memories of being helped, every memories of being lifted up, every memories of being favored, these are all erased. Hallelujah. But I know today by the special grace of God, the light of God is coming upon your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Think that they are the Lord, a Lord they would think that they are not even, they, they are not worth anything. People that are being dragged down, they, they would even think that they are not worth anything. There is no worth and value in them. Hallelujah. Or around them. But I want to tell you something wonderful, something you have a word. Your word is wonderful. Your 
word is the image of the Lord that you carry right now. And I know you will go and do greater things in life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your light has come this very morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I said in Aaron, nobody can drag me down. Hallelujah. Nobody can drag me down because my light has come. So I want to implore every man, every man that's watching me right now, you must have that at the back of your mind. Nobody can drag you down. Hallelujah. Because you and I, we are the light of the world. Hallelujah. We are the light of the world. I have never seen anybody that can cage a star from shining. It is impossible. Hallelujah. In as much nobody can actually cage or put a stop to star from yeah, nobody can actually put a stop to, to star from shining. Hallelujah. Your light has come this morning in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never allow people to drag you down in respect of whatever they're saying about you. Don't let it even pull you down. Continue to pursue the dreams the Lord has placed in you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what they're saying about you. Just continue to pursue the dreams that the Lord has placed in you and the road on which he is leading you. God is leading you somewhere today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A journey that you have never actually, actually engaged or actually entered into. God said, I want to lead you right now because this, this lead is of me. It's not of the devil again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And hear me well, I want to quote certain scriptures that talk about the light. Hallelujah. And that's what we want to do tonight. Hallelujah. Because the presence and the light of God is coming upon a person. We all know for sure what Psalm 27 in verse 1 says. It said, the Lord is my my light and my salvation. So honestly, you and I, we are the light of the Lord. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. He now said, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Oh, whom shall I be afraid? So hear me well, nobody can drag you down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also in Psalm 34, where you study verse 5, the book of Psalm 34, where you study by verse 5, the Bible says, I look to God and I am lightened. Hallelujah. When I look unto the Lord, I am lightened and my face is not ashamed. So when you are quoting this scripture, that shows you that nobody can ever drag you down. Also in the book of Psalm 36 in verse 9, the Bible says, In God's light, I shall be, I shall see light. You see, in the light of God, I shall see light. So with that assurance, that shows that nobody can drag you down. Hallelujah, that you are the light of the world. When you go to the book of Psalm 43, and when you study verse 3, the Bible says, Lord, send me out on light and your truth, that the Lord should send you out with his light and truth, and let them lead me and bring me on into your holy all and your holy tabernacle. So when you are actually decreeing these upon your life, that shows that nobody can ever drag you down. Also in the book of Psalm 56, when you study in verse 13, the Bible says, I awake, I awake before God in the light of his living. Hallelujah. I awake, when I wake up, I am awake before God in the light of his living. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. Also in Psalm 89, when you study verse 15, the Lord is actually talking to you alive. The Bible says, I walk in the light of Lord's countenance. Hallelujah. In the life of Lord's beauty. In the life of the Lord to behold. Hallelujah. And that shows that nobody can ever drag you down. When you study Psalm 97 in verse 4, the Bible says God's lighting enlightened the world. Hallelujah. And my life. That's the light of God enlightened the world and my life. Hallelujah. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. When you study Psalm 97, hallelujah, in the verse 11, the Bible talks about let it so, hallelujah, let it be sown in you and I. Let it be sown for the righteous, hallelujah, and gladness of the upright of the heart. That shows that the light of God is upon your life. The light shows in you for, for you are righteous. So he said, the light shows in you. Hallelujah. And gladness of the upright. Hallelujah. In your heart. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. I have never seen anybody that can drag the light down. Hallelujah. Because the light actually overshadowed darkness. Hallelujah. And we study Psalm 112 in verse 4. The Bible says, unto the upright arises light in darkness. You see? Unto the upright. To those who are upright in God. They said light will arise. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. In the book of Psalm 118 in verse 27, the Bible says, the Lord, the Lord who shows me the light. So God will always show you the light. And when God is showing the light, that shows that nobody can ever drag you down. In Psalm 119, when you study 105, the Bible says, God is my light, my lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So if God is a light unto your feet and a lamp unto your path, nobody can drag you down. In Psalm 119 in verse 130, the Bible talks about it. The entrance of God God's word give us light and give it understanding. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. In the book of Psalm 139 in verse 11, the Bible says, I decree and I declare that even the night shall be light all around me. Even the night, as we are in the night right now, he said, I decree that the night shall be light all around me. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. Also in Proverbs chapter 4 in verse 18, the Bible talks about it. Hallelujah. The Bible says the path of the just is like a shining light. 
Hallelujah. That shines more and more onto the perfect day. You see, the path, I love that part. Now, Psalm, what, Psalm 4, uh, Proverbs 4 in 18. He said, the path of the just, the path of you and I are like shining lights. Hallelujah. You are like shining lights. That shows that nobody can drive in. And now said, that shines more and more onto perfect day. So that shows that nobody can ever drag you down. In Proverbs chapter 6, when you study 23, the Bible said, God said, God's commandments are a lamp. You see, he said, God's commandment and a lamp. And his law is a light unto me. Hallelujah. So the commandment of God are lamp and his light is on a light unto me. That shows again that nobody can drag you down. When you study Psalm 15 in verse 30, the light of my eyes, hallelujah, puts rejoicing in my heart. He said, the light of my heart put rejoicing in my heart. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, when you study verse 13, the Bible talks about God's light shines in my life and exceeds darkness. Hallelujah. It actually destroys darkness. So that shows that nobody can ever drag you down. When you now go into the New Testament in Matthew chapter 5, hallelujah, in verse 14, it talks about it. I am the light of the world. When you are the light of the world, that shows that nobody can drag uh, drag you down. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 5, when you study verse 16, it said the same thing. He said, I, I said, I, I, I let my light shine before men that they may see my goodness, hallelujah, and the glory of the Lord. So when you let your light shine before men, they will see the God's goodness and the glory of the Lord upon your life. That shows that nobody can ever drag you down. Hallelujah. In John chapter 8, when you study verse 12, I am actually giving you all these references to make you understand that you are the light of the world. Hallelujah. And your light must shine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In John 8 chapter chapter 8 in verse 12, the Bible talks about it. The Bible says, I follow Jesus who is the light of the world. Hallelujah. And I have the light of life. When I follow him who is the light of the world, then I have the light of life. Hallelujah. I do not walk in darkness. That shows that nobody can drag you down. Hallelujah. And when you go further to study John chapter 11 in verse 9, the Bible says, I walk in the day and do not stumble because I said the light of the world. Hallelujah. So when you walk in the day, you cannot stumble excuse me, you cannot stumble. You see the light of the world. Hallelujah. That's what the scripture is talking about here. In John chapter 12 in verse 35, I walk in the light and I am not blind or of direction. Hallelujah. You see, so nobody can ever, ever drag you down. The Bible said in John chapter 12 in verse 36, the Bible says, I believe in the light. Hallelujah. When you believe in the light, your light can never, never, never quench. Hallelujah. Your light can never go down. And as much your light cannot go down, nobody can drag you down. And in John chapter 12 in verse 36 also, the Bible, the same the Bible says, I am a child of the light. Hallelujah. So with all this, I want to tell you, no power can ever drag you down. Hallelujah. No power. You must not release yourself to powers that will drag you down. They were in your creator. Hallelujah. You are creating the beauty and the image of the Lord. Hallelujah. You must be focused about your person. You must be focused about your well-being. You must be focused about your life. Hallelujah. And you must believe that, yes, you are sons and daughters of the living God. Hallelujah. And you want to tell the devil of your life, devil, you cannot drag me down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's just the point here. Devil, you cannot drag me down because I am the light of the world. Look at all the scriptures I've quoted right now. I am the light of the world. You cannot drag me down. I belong to the law. When I see life, I see light. Hallelujah. You are the life of the world and the light of men. Hallelujah. So when I see life, which is Christ, I see light. Hallelujah. So right now, you and I, we cannot go down. So like I said earlier on, if you are the Jabez that was actually locked down in for a temporary period, honestly, go and mark it down. The hand of the Lord. Oh Lord, Bobo is ready to pull you out from that very situation right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But remember something. Javis actually prayed. Hallelujah. So you, we are going to pray tonight. Hallelujah. We are going to pray tonight to experience the supernatural of God. Hallelujah. To experience the light of God. To experience the beauty of the Lord and the glory of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody has got the power to shut you down. Hallelujah. You can never be shut down. Hallelujah. They hang God that such a power to pull you down. And except you agree to them. Hallelujah. You are you, you are consented, hallelujah. You want them to do that. But tonight, I want to tell you, even if it's your heart, hallelujah, your heart of heart, and you are down right now by the reason of the anointing, the power, the power of the Lord, oh Lord, bro, bro, the outstretched hand of the Lord is coming upon your life right now for you to be lifted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You still have many places ahead of you to go. You still have many promises of the Lord ahead of you. You still have a, a grace and power of God upon your life. You still have testimonies on, on this very planet uh, to actually give to people, actually go 
going through the same thing. And God wants to make you the person that will actually exhibit it and give that testimony. Hallelujah. There are certain people that are waiting for you to actually give testimonies that will leave them all. Hallelujah. So you must be able to stand up if you really want to represent or want to be that person right now. Hallelujah. Because certain people are waiting right now to hear your testimony, to hear your good news, to hear to hear how you act, how God took you out from that very merry clay and brought you into marvelous life. To hear that yes, you are the light of the world. To hear that although you have been held down before, now you are released right now. So God is waiting for a man and a woman that actually go forth right now in order right now to tell people about their testimonies. And I know that everyone that is watching me right now, including myself, my household, we want to off, we want to actually give such a testimonies. Hallelujah! And we are not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah! For is the power unto salvation, to resurrection. Hallelujah! So this very hour, if I know that you are the one, just text and say yes, I am the one. Hallelujah! So God wants somebody that is actually going out there and will tell people, yes, I have been there. I was there. The situation you are in right now, I was there. But something happened in my life. I, it was never permanent. Hallelujah! It was just for a temporary period. And Jehovah actually intervened on my behalf. And Jehovah pulled me out. Hallelujah! So God is ready for anyone that is actually watching me right now. That you are God is God said, I want to intervene in that situation. I want to pull you out from that very situation that you are in right now. Because I am God. A light cannot be hidden. Hallelujah. A light cannot be hidden. The stars cannot be covered. Hallelujah. Your glory can never be buried. That's what God is talking right now. So God is saying right now, I am looking for somebody right now that is ready for me right now to come into his life. That is giving me the permission and the right to actually come into his life and exhibit himself. Hallelujah. God really wants to exhibit himself. He wants to show his glory. He wants to show his power. He wants to show his compassion. All right now, in your life and in my life today, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, only what you will do right now, just tell the Lord, Lord, I am ready. I am the one, Lord. Yes, I am the one. Just tell the Lord, yes, I am the one. Because God is ready with your mouth, hallelujah, with your, with your closed mouth, is a closed destiny. Even if you cannot even type, how much more will I know you will pray, hallelujah. You just want to tell the Lord, yes, Lord, I am the one right now. I am the one you want to show forth in, my, in life. I, I am the one you want to actually exhibit to the world that yes, Lord, that a new thing you have started in my life, that a new growth has started in my life. Promotion comes running in my life. All the four corners of the world, the North Sea, East, South, and West are actually remembering me for glory. My testimony is running down. My testimony is actually showering down like rain. You want to tell the people of the world that yes, help started locating me. Hallelujah. Because now I recognize who I am in Christ. The moment you recognize who you are in Christ, you're actually closing down every voices. Every voices, every attack, every gathering, you're actually closing it down. So I want everyone right now to recognize themselves right now. You are sons and daughters of the living God. God cannot leave you and God cannot report you to your enemy. That is who God is. So this very hour, I know today, today is a special day. Hallelujah. I know that nobody will drag you down. Stars cannot be dragged down. Hallelujah. Pharaoh tried as much as possible. In the Herod rather tried as much as possible. Herod tried as much as possible in the life of Christ. Stars can never be dragged down. Hallelujah. The more you want to drag a star down, the more the star begin to show the beauty. The more the star begin to radiate the more. So hear me very well. To everyone that is watching me right now, your star can never be dragged down. Hallelujah. Because you are the light of the world. And people are waiting to hear from your testimony. People want to use you as an example. If Lord, if you can do it for so, so such a man, if you can do it for such a woman, yes, I know you can still do it in my life. So that's what God wants to do. Hallelujah. And I know God will do it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He respects or whatever you are going through right now, I know God will prove himself in your life and in my life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless the Lord for this very hour because I know that there are certain people that are watching right now. He respect whatever you are going through right now. If you are being dragged down, there is a lifting right now. God is ready to lift you up. I'm still saying it. If you are down right now, Jehovah is ready to lift you up. If nobody recognizes you, go and mark it down. God will make your testimony to pull crowd. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will make your name written in his blood. Lord, so that people will know that this name can, can, ne can never be forgotten in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So hear me well. It is your time. It is your right. Hallelujah. Everything about God is time and right. Hallelujah. You have entered into that very time right now and you have the right of it this very hour. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have the right of blessing. You have the right of promotion. You have the right of moving forward. You have the right of everything you ever imagined in life. Hallelujah. You have the right of, of helper to locate you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you have the right of healing hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so no power is permitted again hear me very well by the reason of the anointing my calling a place down no power is permitted hallelujah to drag you down again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because you and I will represent Christ we represent Christ Hallelujah. Now I want to actually go into prayer right now. Hallelujah. And I believe every single man, every single woman, you are ready to pray this very hour. It's very, very important. Hallelujah. You need to open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. So if you are privileged to hear me, you see that I'm praying for myself and my household. Hallelujah. It is your time. You are to do it yourself. Hallelujah. And when you pray, just leave everything for God. And God is the one who actually will bring testimony down. And I know that there shall be testimonies concerning this very night in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to go before the most high god this very hour even before we engage in our prayer can we just begin to appreciate the lord right now can we begin to bless him can we just begin to lift up his holy name that we are still very much alive it's a privilege lord i just want to thank you i want to thank you for your grace i want to thank you for your glory over my life over my household i appreciate you for who you are this very hour oh lord i thank you for your faithfulness in our life oh lord father even when we're not faithful oh lord father lord almighty you are faithful father lord almighty i bless your name oh lord thank you lord father lord almighty for even the air we're breathing thank you for every everything that you have created oh lord you are such a good god you're such a wonderful god just begin to appreciate him from your heart right now begin to tell him he's so he's such a wonderful god he's such a good god we bless your name this hour in the name of the lord jesus christ we lift up your name on i for you alone you're wonderful thank you oh lord because you are god thank you because we are not mourning right now neither are we weeping right now lord almighty i just want to appreciate you thank you concerning every ministry in the world right now lord almighty it can only be you oh lord we bless your name this hour in the mighty name of the lord jesus Jesus Christ, you alone, you are God. Generation comes and they go, you remain the same. Just begin to acknowledge him, begin to give him all the glory, begin to reference him, begin to thank him from the bottom of your heart. Hallelujah. It can only be you, O oh God. I bless you, O oh Lord. I give you all the glory. Even for what you're doing in my house, O oh Lord. For making my house your citadel of power. In love, my wife, my children, I bless your name. Over my entire family, I thank you. Over the ministry of VIM, I thank you. Over all other ministries in the world, Father Lord, I give you all the glory, O oh God. Father, you alone, you are God. Begin to bless him, begin to give him praise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, for all our sin and falling short of the glory of the Lord, let's just go before the Most High God. Let's begin to ask for mercy right now. Begin to ask for mercy. Right. Whatsoever is going to end our prayer today, be it our sin right now, we want the Lord to forgive us this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Things we halt, things we've said, Lord, forgive us this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The one we know of, the one we don't know of, that the Lord might have mercy, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to your loving kindness, Lord, according all to the more fulfilled of your tender mercy. We need your mercy this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we need your mercy, O God. Daddy, we need your mercy, O God. Over this very hour, we need your mercy, O God. We bless your name, O Lord, because you've answered us, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Something came into my spirit while we we're praying right now, and it was so heavy. There are par paraventure, there are certain people that are meant to die. Hallelujah. Through even coronavirus, that God actually brought back to life. Hallelujah. God brought them back, back to life because they were actually wanted to kill, but God brought you back to life it's a powerful testimony that's a powerful testimony in your life those who are the same thing you were we went through already they are gone but actually brought god brought you back to life it doesn't matter what the devil is thinking about your situation or your life right now god is still there he is still standing against the words of the devil hallelujah and the bible said who is it that speaks and comes to pass when jehovah is not ordained hallelujah so i want to appreciate god for the life of those who actually experienced certain things in life that were meant to that were meant for death but god actually brought them back to life it is a privilege in the name of the lord jesus christ we want to go before the most high god to everyone that is watching me right now, you want to command by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. You want to decree, it's a command. Hallelujah. When you are commanding, it's a decree. A command is a decree and a command must be authorized. When you see an army, when an army is commanded to do something, yes, it will actually honor that thing. So you want to command by fire right now that each step, the enemies enemies of your progress, if each, each step they take right now, Father, lead them to a greater destruction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that every enemies of my progress, each step they take right now, Father, Lord, my concerning my life, let that step lead them to great destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every step your enemy will take right now, let it lead to their great destruction in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God because you are the light of the world. Nobody can drag you down. So every step that your enemy is taking right now, let such a step, let it lead them to great destruction right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Enemies are actually going ahead and they say, no, you can never rise. You can never be fulfilled. You can never be lifted up. Let them tell the Lord. Let's 
such a step right now. Let it lead to their great destruction in life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God. You need to command it right now. Daddy, I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Each step that my enemy is taking right now concerning my progress right now, let it lead to their very great destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go before the Most High God. Begin to tell the Lord right now. Every step that the enemy is taking concerning your progress in life, concerning your moving forward in life, let that step lead to their great destruction in the mighty name, greater destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that consume them right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For those who have children right now, you want to go before the Most High God because as we are praying for adults, we are praying for our children as well. You want to go before the Most High God, you want to command by fire that every step that the enemy is taking against them towards the progress of my children, Lord, let it lead them to greater destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to decree right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I normally say to parents, it doesn't matter the age of your, ch your children or your child right now, you, your child needs prayer right from the womb till this very hour. Hallelujah. No child is older than parents. You still need to be praying for them. So you want to go before the Most High God, even concerning your children right now. You want to say, Daddy Lord, I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Each step that my children is taking right now or that the enemy is taking right now in order to alter the progress of my children. Every step that the enemy is taking right now in order to alter the, the progress of my children. Let that step lead to greater destruction in their life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Greater destruction in the love of the enemy. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God. Begin to decree right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you want to go before the Most High God. You want to command again. Because we need to command. Hallelujah. It is very wonderful things when you command. Hallelujah. Your command is when you decree. Hallelujah. And the devil of your life will come to honor. And they will run away. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to go before the Most High God. You want to command. All those who consult darkness against your life. Father, I disgrace them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone that is consulting darkness and the powers of darkness concerning my life, that they begin to disgrace them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is consulting the power of darkness concerning my life, O oh Lord, Father, I disgrace them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to go before the Most High God and you want to tell the Lord concerning my children, O oh Lord, I command these hours the sound of the living God. And all those that are consulting the powers of darkness concerning my children, O oh Lord, Father, Lord, Almighty, begin to disgrace them this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone just go to God begin to tell the Lord right now that it is very hour, oh Lord. I disgrace them this hour. My children will make it alive. My children will be great in life. No power is permitted to drag my children down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are children. They are God's heritage. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I command this hour any power that is consulting the power of darkness in order to pull my children down. Today, Father Lord Almighty, disgrace them, oh Lord, and set fire upon them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God. Like I said, we are praying for ourselves and we are praying for our children as well. In in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For those who are not married right now, you can still be praying for you, your children that God will give you later on in life. Just go before the Most High God and begin to say it right now. You command this very hour. I command this very hour as a servant of the living God in the love of my children. Any power that is actually consulting the powers of darkness concerning my children. Daddy, begin to disgrace them, O Lord, and set them ablaze in the name of Jesus. Any power right now that is actually concerning the power of darkness concerning my wife, concerning my life this hour. Daddy, disgrace them this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Just go before the Most High God. Tell the Lord to begin to disgrace them by fire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where you are. I am currently located. That's one thing I know about the devil. It doesn't matter where you and I are currently located. You will fulfill assignment in this generation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will fulfill your assignment. It doesn't matter where we are located. I will fulfill my assignment in this very generation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this very generation and in this season, I will fulfill my assignment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My children will fulfill their assignment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this generation and this season, they will fulfill the assignment. In respect of whatever we are, we are, we are actually staying right now. In respect of whatever our current location is right now, everyone that is watching me right now, you will fulfill your assignment in, in this generation and this season in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your children and my children, they will fulfill the assignment in this generation and in this season in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go before the Most High God that we need to pray right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children do not know how to pray. We are the one that will pray and pray victory into their life. We are the one that will pray and pray breakthrough into their life. We want to tell the Lord, Father Lord Almighty, oh whoever is consulting, or whoever whoever is actually consulting power of darkness concerning my children, Father, disgrace them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And tell the Lord, it doesn't matter. Tell the Lord the devil, it doesn't matter where my children are located right now. They, my children, will fulfill assignment in this very generation. They will fulfill their assignment in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this season, my children will fulfill their assignment. In this very season, they shall be great. They will will be great in life. They will do well in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to go before the Most High God right now. From today, I decree and I declare that my life shall not be a reject. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, shall my life shall not be a reject. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go before the Most High God. My children's life shall not be a reject. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I reject invitation of poverty in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, tell the Lord concerning your children, my children will not be a reject. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I reject invitation of poverty in the love of my children. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every invitation of poverty sent into the love of my children, I reject it by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you want to go before the Most High God, begin to decree right now. In the name of Jesus, every invitation of poverty sent into the love of your children, into the love of my children, I reject in the name of Jesus every children of VIM and children of those who are watching me that not even belongs to the ministry. I stand upon the authority of the living God. Every invitation to poverty in the life of your children that you have actually sent into the life of children, into the journey of your children, I reject it by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in your life, begin to reject it right now. Begin to reject it right now. With limitation or invitation of poverty. Hallelujah. Invitation to poverty. Begin to reject it in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have entered your season right now. Nobody can drag you or your children down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, do you know invitation to poverty is a drag down? By the reason of the anointing, stand against it by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Stand against it by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the life of your children, in your life, in your family, begin to reject right now. Invitation to poverty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if it were being sent, probably, probably years back and of, or in the future, today I stand against it. Whatsoever is seated in the future against my children, that is called an invitation to poverty. I reject it in the name of Jesus. Whatever is seated in the future of my children, that is called death or sickness. I reject in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just begin to reject it in the love of your children right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to reject it. Begin to reject it. Begin to reject it. Come against it by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to go before the Most High God. You want to tell the Lord that they begin to scatter right now. Every conspiracy against my life in the heavenlies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to scatter it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Scatter every conspiracy. Father Lord Almighty against my life in the heavenlies. Scatter every conspiracy against my children's life. In the evil is right now. Every conspiracy of I to fail in the evil is taking place in the evil is every power that is speaking the evil is right now conspiring against my life, conspiring against my wife, conspiring against my children. I reject it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to rain the fire of God. Holy Ghost scatter them. Fire of the Holy Ghost scatter them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire of the Holy Ghost scatter them. Every every conspiracy against my life in the evil is every conspiracy against love my wife in the evil is every conspiracy against love my children in the evil is. I ask the fire of God to scatter them right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, begin to scatter them. In the name of Jesus, begin to scatter them. Begin to scatter them. Conspiracy or meeting that is taking place. That they said they have the right of our children. Go right now. The, our children belongs to the law. Nobody has the right of our children. So every conspiracy that is taking place right now, concerning their future, begin to rain the fire of God upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, rain fire of God right now upon the Holy Ghost fire. 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 Every conspiracy in the heavens right now. Concern love of our children. For concern love of our children. In the future. Right now into the future. Rain the fire of God right now. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter their agenda. Holy Ghost fire scatter their meeting. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You must be able to pray for your children. These are your tomorrow. But the reason of the anointing. I decree and I declare. I scatter it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every celebration of poverty in the future. Concerning my children. I destroy by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every celebration of poverty. I Around my destiny, around the destiny of my children, I come against by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Around the destiny of my wife, I come against by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go before the Most High God. Begin to rain the fire of God upon him. Holy Ghost fire upon him right now. Every celebration of poverty around my destiny. Every celebration of destiny, uh, of poverty around my children's destiny, around my wife's destiny. I rain the fire of God upon him right now. Be it now in the future. I come against it. I stand against it by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to decree right now. Every celebration of poverty around my destiny around the destiny of my children around the destiny of my wife I rend the fire of the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost scatter them O Lord in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost scatter them O Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ irrespective of who they are be it a family member be it an outsider or a friend that has gathered right now in order to destroy my children may destruction come upon their life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may destruction come upon their life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may destruction come upon their life right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes Malera Bolekayandavaleha <laughs> who will represent you when you are gone? Hmm. Who will stand in the gap when you are gone? We are wherever the enemy is standing right now. Right now in the future. 
looking and checking our children up right now, out right now. If they are checking them out right now and they are planning concerning their life, I stand upon the authority of the Lord. Let the fire of the Lord go forth right now and destroy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the fire of the Lord go forth right now. Let the fire of the Lord go forth right now and begin to scatter right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to tell the Lord right now to uproot by fire. Lord, uproot by fire. Every stronghold of Prince of Persia that pop that, that actually vowed to, to actually hinder my, my journey in life. The way they enjoy, they, they actually plan and held down a servant of God. You want to go before the Most High God? Lord, uproot by fire, Lord. Every stronghold of Pasha or Prince of Pasha, every power of Prince, Prince of Pasha that has purpose to hinder my progress, uproot by fire. By the reason of the anointing, that they uproot by fire. Every stronghold of the Prince of Pasha that has purpose right now to hinder my progress, my blessing, my moving forward, my breakthrough, that they uproot them by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to go right now concerning our person right now. That they, by the reason of the anointing, Lord, uproot by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every stronghold of the Prince of Pasha that has purpose or vow to hinder my breakthrough, my destiny, my moving forward, that they uproot them by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uproot them by fire in my life. Life, now my wife, open them by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we want to go into the love of our sons right now or our children right now. We want to tell the Lord that the uproot by fire, Lord, every stronghold of Pasha, Hallelujah, our Prince of Pasha, that has vowed to hinder the growth of my children, that has vowed to hinder the breakthrough of my children, that has vowed to hinder the advance of my children, that the uproot them by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go before the Most High God in the love of your children right now, Lord, or put them by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every stronghold of Prince of Pasha that has bowed and purpose and bowed to hinder the Break from my children that you are putting by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has purpose to hinder the journey of my children that has purpose to hinder the break of my children advance of my children that you are putting by fire begin go before the most high God begin to tell the Lord right now or put them by fire or put them by fire or put them by fire in the name of Jesus that you are putting by fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command as a servant of the living God Concerning every life that is watching me right now, I command the power to seek and find to fall upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the power to seek and find to fall upon the lives of our children right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our children will not make mistakes that will cost their life. Our children will not make a mistake that will actually derail their journey in life in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing, I command into our lives, I command into love our children, the power to enter open doors of divine opportunities. I command right now to rest upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power to open right now. Enter open doors of opportunity, divine opportunities. I command such a power to rest upon right them right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it rest upon them right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power to ask and to receive. I command to fall upon everyone right now. Including myself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power to ask and to receive. I command to fall upon the love of our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah will begin to intervene in your situation, in your dragging and pulling down. Hey! Jehovah will begin to intervene in your situation, in your dragging and pulling down. God says it's enough. God says it's enough. I am the Lord God. God says it's enough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any power right now that is actually dragging you down or pulling you down. By the reason of the anointing, I stand upon the authority of the living God. I command the hand of the Lord to pull you out and to pull you up right now. In the name of Jesus. I want to go back into prayer right now. And as we are praying, we want to pray for our children as well. We want to go back into prayer right now. Hallelujah. 
to everyone that is watching me right now, it's a privilege to be to to be to still be awake, awake right now, because I know for sure that God wants to do something great in our lives. God wants to move us out from that very situation right now and move on, move us into His glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to go before the Most High God right now. We want to command as as, as children of the Living God, every evil that destroy every evil in our life, anyone that is actually planning a downfall. Hear me well. I don't know if any people will want to offer this prayer. And it's very important. Whoever is planning my downfall, be it my blood, I command me such a person fall in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are going to offer that prayer yourself. Whoever is planning my downfall, be it my blood, I command such a person to fall right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. A lot, a lot might be afraid to offer the prayer. Okay. Maybe you say you will fall if you cannot command it. Whoever wants my downfall, I stand upon the authority of the living God. Be it my blood. I command such a person to fall right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to decree right now. A lot are saying amen. Yeah, amen. It is settled. To know that yes, even in your family, even in my family, Amen. It is settled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is settled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever wants to waste your divine opportunities, whatever has been sitting down and wasting your privileges in life, your, whatever is sitting down and been wasting your moving forward in life, actually put a stop to your movement and your growth in life. I command such a thing right now to give way right now and be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right in the name of Jesus, I am not just saying, I am commanding it. I'm commanding it. Let the foundation of our lives, foundations of your life, foundation of my life, let it be repaired and begin to carry a divine prosperity in the name of Jesus. I am commanding it. Let the foundation of our lives right now be repaired. And begin to carry divine prosperity right now. Divine breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is covering your glory from shining. Whoever is covering your glory from shining. I stand upon the authority of the living God. Wherever such a thing is located right now. Or such person is located at, I ask the fire of the Lord to wake them up and destroy. In the name of Jesus. I am decreeing to your life. If you don't like it, switch off. Whoever. Whatever is covering your glory. Or whoever is covering your glory. Or whoever wants to cover the glory of your children. If they are sleeping right now. I command the power of the fire of the Lord to wake them up and destroy them. In the name of Jesus. No situation is permanent. Refuse to agree that your situation is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Your situations will change for good. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that so shall it be. Because no situation is permanent. Our Lord Bogboro is coming into your life to lift you up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is pulling you away right now at the point of your breakthrough, I render that thing useless right now and I seize that thing and I return it back to hell. In the name of Jesus! Whoever is using the problem of your life to frustrate you, may Jehovah frustrate such a person in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is using the problem of your life to frustrate you, May Jehovah frustrate them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever it may be is using the problem of your life to address you. That is using the problem of your life to pull you down. May Jehovah pull such a person down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I told you, it's going to be a very dangerous prayer tonight. If you don't like it, please switch off. 
Whoever. Ali Kaya Balea Had Nabalea. Everything about your lifting is sorted out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No power is permitted to hold you down again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything about your lifting is settled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Challenges that are impossible in your life become possible this very hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Breakthrough becomes inevitable in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your labor of fasting and prayer becomes fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us with being to find and locate you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will begin to experience promotion instead of demotion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your achievement will become glaring. People will see in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your achievement becomes glaring in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, you begin to experience open heaven in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will enter your promised land. No more stopping you again. No more denying you of it again. You are entering your promised land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will begin to express testimonies and victory galore all the days of your life. In the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will grant unto you lasting wealth and financial breakthrough. You will no longer borrow again in life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lasting wealth and financial breakthrough, Jehovah will grant unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You begin to shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will begin to reap bountiful harvest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you sow will begin to reap it. Bountiful harvest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Divine understanding of self will prosper you to greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You begin to have divine understanding of self that will actually prosper you to greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your world will no longer be shut down in Jesus' name. Hear me very well. From the four corners of the world, help us will come looking for you. In the name of Jesus. From today, your words and value are in the hands of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No one born of a woman, spirit being or not, will be able to drag you down again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is your time. It is your season. It is your hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, begin to enjoy the glory of the Lord and the beauty of the Lord all the days of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sorrow will not locate you. Sorrow will not see you. In the name of Jesus. In respect of whatever age or ages that your children are right now, they will not pick a wrong bone in life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our children will begin to pick the right bone, bone of their bone, and the flesh of their flesh, God will grant unto them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are moving forward. The path is paved by divine understanding and knowledge of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever will not let our children be. Whoever will not let our children be. Whoever I say never will they be. I summon as a servant of the living God. Their spiritual coughing out right now. I summon their spiritual coughing out right now. I have placed them inside and I buried them alive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Whoever will not let you be. Whoever has been in the affairs of your life for long. And they are saying you are just nobody. By the reason of the Lamb. I stand upon the authority of the living God. You have spoken against God's body. You have spoken against the one created of God. And I summon that person to be judged right now by heaven in the name of Jesus. Powers afflicting you. Powers making you cry while they rejoice. Human beings that are making you cry while they are rejoicing. Today, daddy, I command a turn around this hour. May you begin to rejoice while they begin to mourn in the name of Jesus. For those who are saying amen, make sure they are not there. This prayer tonight is dangerous. If you are holding people down, you never let, let them go. Powers that will not agree, they refuse to agree to your lifting. May I command the ground to open and swallow them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Human being that will not agree to do your lifting. I command such a woman being to be buried alive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let death knock on their door right now. And let this money bring weeping and sorrow and gnashing of teeth in their house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your hour is now. You are the one that will determine if you are going to be lifted or be brought down. Even if you are hurting me right now. If you have never experienced the joy of the Lord, if they have caged you down permanently, I stand as a servant of the living God. I decree and I declare such a cage right now to open by fire and by force in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that prison door be opened right now. Malira Ori maliri bale kaye kabini ribili ha marira bole ande bili kaye nda kabi aha let the prison doors be open right now in the name of Jesus kaya bila kaya be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus and I command as a sound let the hand of the Lord pick you out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ all that you have been deprived of. Your rights, your body, and I'm talking about your body, sickness. You, a man of deprived of, 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 of the partner, you, a woman deprived of, of a partner, I stand upon the authority of the living God. I decree and I declare Christ in me, the hope of glory. Your what say you will give everyone their needs. Your what said by his stripes they are healed. Lord, according to your word, perfect all that concerns them in the name of Jesus. Perfect all that concerns them, Lord. Perfect all that concerns them, Lord. Perfect all that concerns them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Perfect the Lord. All that concerns them. In the mighty name of Jesus. To God be all the glory. 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 Rejoice in the Lord. soak everyone right now in the pool of the blood of Jesus shackles are broken right now 
She ain't not lose right now. Rejoice in the Lord and the power of his might. Rejoice in the Lord and the power of his might. Rejoice in the Lord and the power of his might. Let no one trouble you again because you bear the mark of Christ in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whatever is disturbing your womb. Thank you, Lord. God has done it again. Everyone will hear testimony about this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Even if I don't know what you're carrying right now, I hear your brother say, You don't even know the heavy things I'm carrying right now. Ah, the hand of the Lord is upon your life right now. Such loads are lifted up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This woman, I'm actually, I don't want to mention it. I'll call you. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Tonight, every single one of you. You don't need to pray. Just go before the Most High God. Begin to sing. Begin to praise Him. Just begin to sing unto Him. If it's 30 minutes, 30 minutes is wonderful. Begin to praise Him. Begin to appreciate Him with songs. Don't ask for anything. Appreciate Him. Sing unto Him. Appreciate Him. Whoever is experiencing move in their house right now. You have been experiencing move in your house. You don't even know what is going on. And mark it out. Such a thing comes to an end right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Just begin to sing, begin to thank Him. Begin to worship Him. We bless you, Lord. You are holy and forever you are God. We bless your name, O Lord. Give him all the glory tonight. You don't need to pray. Just appreciate him. Bless his holy name. Bless him from the bottom of your heart. Bless him from the bottom of your heart. That is the things God wants to do even in people's uh, 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 <coughs> lower abdomen. Yeah. I'm talking about women right now. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Six. Six. Blessing from your heart. From inside of you. Honestly, you will testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessing. Bless him because he's God. Because he's able to do all things. Bless him because he's God. He said, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Daddy, lady. I am the Lord. Your healer. I send my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Strength comes upon people right now. Healing comes upon your life. And mark it down. Healing comes upon your life. 
and it comes upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Lord Father Lord I just want to appreciate you I lift up your name on high for your wonderful thank you for your faithfulness thank you for an hour like this a night like this thank you for silencing every power of hell thank you for the light of God that is upon our life thank you because we shine and no darkness is able to touch us anymore Lord I bless your name oh Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there is somebody here a cloth was actually given to you sewn actually from Africa it's a gown from the top here to half they now split it with a design that looks can I have a pen quick quick can I have a pen can I have a pen quick please can I have a pen and a piece of paper okay. yeah with a design I will show you now I don't know how to draw so manage this. Um, uh -huh. Let me use this side. The design comes this way. I'm coming. That's a gown. <laughs> don't 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 bother about my drawing. Yeah. Something like this at the middle like like flowers they're not flowers but they're like veil veil just the, the middle veil like veil just the middle if you're the one call me please lord i just want to appreciate you i want to thank you i give you all the glory oh god you are god Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mighty power. I bless your name, O oh Lord. I give you all the glory. Be thou exalted. Homes that are in this array right now, I ask the power of the Lord to move into it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Homes that are in this area right now. Lord, I welcome the power of the Holy Ghost right now to locate this home, this house right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every plan of the devil concerning their life this hour, I put a stop to it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Daddy Lord, enter into their house right now. Holy Spirit, set to them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I bless your name, O oh Lord. Thank you for a night like this. Thank you for what you're doing right now, presently. And thank you for what you will do later. I bless your name, O oh Lord. Our night are soaking the pool of the blood of Jesus. Our children are covered in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for the journey they've actually embarked on. Thank you because nobody is given the power to put a stop to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for each and every one online right now. And thank you for those that watch later. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you for the testimony of life. To you that be all the glory of God. Every pain in the leg. Every pain in the leg. Let healing come right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Healing come right now, Lord. Healing come right now. By stripes, they are healed in the name of Jesus. Every pain in the leg. Daddy, I decree healing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By his stripes, they are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you that because you are wonderful. Whoever is taken to the stream every night. By the reason of the anointing, I put a stop to it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I separate you from that very thing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the fire of the Lord to enter into you right now in the name of Jesus. They will no longer recognize you again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you praise. 
To you be all the glory, O oh God. Thank you for the healing, O oh Lord. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for our dreams. Thank you for our sleep. Thank you for waking up. We bless your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is great. God is great. God is great. God is great. I appreciate every single one of you. Glory, glory, Lazy Lube. Demodia Rosemary, when you still say, Joy Debo, when you Stanley, Bright Canada, God bless you, Kira Gawa, Cindy Kiyomi, bless God bless you all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Felix Vivian, God bless you. Hallelujah. Osama Ibogan, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Andrew Nico, God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jolua Tosi, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Josandos, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you all. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord come to shine in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall. You will not faint. In the mighty name of Jesus. Almost Yoba, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Shall be well with you. A day in Karagunyan war. Deepness, God bless you. Favor June, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Evan Stanley, God bless you. It is well with you. Okuna Joy, God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Evan Stanley, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Evan Skinsy, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And and every member that is actually living within the 10 kilometers in, in Paris, that is service on Sunday by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. Bridget, God bless you real good in the name of Jesus. It is well. Have a wonderful and a glorious night. Hallelujah. Remember, don't pray tonight. Just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him according to the mighty firmament. Praise Him. Just give God all the glory tonight. And let us see God. Let's see the flow and the move of God. In our lives, in the name of Jesus, you are blessed and you are all highly favored. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed and you are highly favored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed and you are highly favored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not bury anyone in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Astonia Rama, God bless you, you will not bless any, you will not, you will not actually mourn concerning one in your family. A.Y. James, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Berkeley, for God bless you in the name of Jesus. Sorrow will not enter your home in the name of Jesus. Promise Jesus, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Weeping and gnashing of teeth will not come into your homes in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord. The Bible says, as the mountains are about Jerusalem, the Lord's run about his people. I command the fire of the Lord right now to encamp in your homes right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mercy will come to locate you all the days of your life. Breakthrough will come into your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your journey in life is going to be smooth in the name of Jesus. Felix Vivian, God bless you. Paul Inibes, God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy of the Lord. Joy will not depart from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimony will come upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Vines, just in God bless you, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord. Where you have not labored and others has labored, you enter into their labor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the reason of the Lamb, I decree and I declare right now as the sound of the living God. Every of your heart desire, God will honor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, because you are God, Father, Lord Almighty, everyone that is hearing me right now, Lord, let there be testimonies in their life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ unshakable, unmovable, in the name of Jesus, dignity for where God bless you, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, your testimony will move nations, in the name of Jesus, your testimony will move nations, in the name of Jesus, I decree right now, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Spirit, it shall be well with you all the days of your life, you will begin to see the glory and the goodness of the Lord, all the days of your life, in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you are lifted up you are highly favored in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ by the reason of the lamb help will locate you in the name of the lord Je jesus christ you are the next on line for testimony in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ you are the next on line for lifting in the name of jesus you are the left ne next on line for breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus next on line for favor in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ so shall it be in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i command the servant of the living god let financial breakthrough begin to locate you all the days of your life in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ they will not say where is your god god will prove himself in your life in your situation in the name of the lord jesus christ by the reason of the anointing the one who answered by fire we come by fire into your situation right now and will bury every plant that is not planted in your life, that is not planted in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that answers by fire will come into your situations right now and begin to destroy every hold in your life right now, in your family, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amongst your siblings, you shall be lifted up. In your family, you will be lifted up. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so shall it be, Lord, in the name of God the Father, and so shall it be be Lord in the name of God the Son and so shall it be Lord in the name of God the Spirit in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the reason of the anointing shame will not counter your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ people will not mock you for serving God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God will show forth in your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ but eventually you're being mocked right now go and mark it down Jehovah will lift you up God will show forth in your life you'll be a testimony in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are mocking will come back to beg you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is because you are God, O oh Lord. Do what you said you will do. In their lives in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see a rainbow right now. I see a rainbow right now. No power of darkness will destroy us again in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. Let us try as much as possible to share this video. Hallelujah. And please, tonight, like I said, don't even pray your saying. Praise the Lord throughout. Probably for 20, 30 minutes and just have your sleep. Hallelujah. And God, God in his infinite mercy will come to protect, guard you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. You're wonderful. We bless your name. Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I love you all. It is well in the name of Jesus. Like I said earlier on, those who are in Paris branch, hallelujah, if you're living within the 10 kilometers, hallelujah, the church is going to be open this Sunday by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. It's at 3 in the afternoon. Church is going to be open this Sunday in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paris uh, Cray as well, that's always open. Hallelujah. And Cray is within, <laughs> we have over 90% of those who are living in Cray within the 10 kilometers, hallelujah. And the church also is open in Cray as well. And let's just appreciate the Lord together. And, why, and, and on Sunday, pray for me as well. God bless you. Love you all. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.